Well, the, la- <laughs> the last time you saw my next guest, it's possible he was dressed in drag. That or eating a chicken drumstick in the shower. It was all in a day's work as a member of the comedy troupe Kids in the Hall, the cult sensation that helped redefine sketch comedy in the 80s and early 90s. Since they went their separate ways in 1995, the kids have been all over the entertainment world. They even reunited last year for the CBC sitcom Death Comes to Town. Kevin McDonald. Kevin McDonald has been especially busy with a string of TV appearances and writing gigs. That and a very unexpected change of postal code. Please welcome comedian, writer, actor, live here at the Gas Station Theater in Winnipeg, Kevin McDonald. Kevin McDonald. Kevin check, M- check. Yes, check. it's on. Check, yeah. check. Kevin. It's just working. I know that I am. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, you very gingerly made your way over here and yes, I'm stole a guitar stand on the way. Yes, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a ginger man. <laughs> you know, I'm very calmly nervous. You're calmly nervous? I'm very calmly nervous. What does I, it mean? I'm calm That's because a, you're a friend. Yes. Oh, thank you for touching me. Uh, and I'm, I'm nervous because uh, usually when I do your show, uh, there's not people and it's not at a comedy festival, so there's <laughs> pressure to be funny. The musician would be funnier than me. The musician was funnier than me. <laughs> the musician it was funnier but than me. But you don't have to feel the pressure. You I do feel the pressure. No, I calmly, I calmly, d- I calmly, yeah. I calmly feel the pressure. Yeah, it's on. It's on. Is yeah. this on? <laughs> check. <laughs> One, check. <laughs> <laughs> So, so Kids in the Hall ended in 95, but you've been very active in subsequent years. You've Thank you for exaggerating. It's very nice. <laughs> no. You have. You've been doing a bunch of different It years. is a big clock. <laughs> <laughs> but here's where I was going with that. Yes. You, you, you've been in all kinds of specials, TV shows. 14 of those years since 1995, you were in Hollywood. You were in Los Angeles. That's yes. where I've seen you most, right? Yes, yes, yes. And yes. all of a sudden... You've changed locales. And where do you live now, Kevin McDonald? Well, I live, I've done the obvious route of going from Hollywood to Winnipeg. He's lifting his feet on the table for those in the radio. He's lifting his feet on the. That is a crowd pleaser. Yes. You have moved. I just to moved just for this moment here on stage. <laughs> the only reason I moved was to get that applause. I'll be moving back to Hollywood tomorrow. Uh, no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I lost them. Yeah, you turned on you pretty <laughs> fast there. Yeah. yeah, they liked you before they knew. Yeah, anyway. Yes. So, uh, but you do, you live in Winnipeg now. I do uh, live in Winnipeg. You know, the microphone will work. I, yeah, no, I'm not sure. I don't trust it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, a sketch comic. Just, we don't use microphones. Just put it down. Kevin. Am I too close to the <laughs> mic? Kevin, put it down. Yes. Yes, I moved Step to Winnipeg away from the because I, yeah. Why, why this move to Winnipeg? I, I, you, know, you know what? Honestly, I did not know you had done this. Because I see you in, I've seen you in Toronto. I, I don't know, you know. So I, I, I'm doing the research. And I don't go around saying hi, Gian. I moved to Winnipeg. Well, exactly. But so tell me about the, 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 the what brought you here. I moved to Winnipeg uh, like many men before me because of a woman. Many and other men have moved for this woman. Yeah, the same woman. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. We all live in the same house. <laughs> We're very good. We're very good. One cooks, one cleans. Is it Carla Collins? Uh, yes. No. Do you? <laughs> Who, but I, I, you, can you no, tell? Okay, um, you go. <laughs> so you fell in love with someone. I fell in love with somebody at the comedy festival at the Winnipeg in Winnipeg. Comedy, in the Winnipeg comedy festival. How long festival. ago? Yes. Two years ago. You fell in love with someone at the Winnipeg comedy festival yes. two years ago. Yes, I finished bombing my gala, and then um, <laughs> and then they uh, put me in the bomb van. The, the more successful comics get in the better limo, and, I, and then they drove me <laughs> to a party uh, where I where I met a whole woman. You met an entire woman. I met an yeah. entire woman. <laughs> That's a, I, this is a lovely story. So then, and then you, what precipitated, you guys obviously talked about, you were living in L.A., she was living here. Yes, yes. And you decided to move for her. Yes, yes, I'm a hero. <laughs> Not necessarily. This is a, this is a lovely town. <laughs> it is a lovely, oh yeah, I wasn't, it wasn't a Winnipeg joke. I just thought it was funny to call myself a hero. I, I'm not a hero because Winnipeg's a bad city. Stop <laughs> hating me! <laughs> I love Winnipeg. I love... Driving through Winnipeg and, and walking through Winnipeg. 
I love with. I, yes, I didn't hear you, but I agree. <laughs> what What is it like uh, going from Hollywood and the the pace that you were at there, and then culture shock? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. That, that's what they say. The pace. Uh, I bring my pace with me. So uh, yeah, I brought my Toronto pace to Hollywood and, uh, and my Toronto Hollywood pace is in Winnipeg. But in all seriousness, you, you spent the years gigging on TV shows like Seinfeld, News Radio, yes. Arrested Development, That 70s yes. Show, Corner Gas. Yes. Is there a difference bet between the kind of gigs you can get in Los Angeles <laughs> compared to those available in Winnipeg? Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes, there's only one show uh, being shot in Winnipeg, and it's uh, produced by a kid in the hall. And Less the, uh, than kind. Yes, I had to audition. <laughs> and uh, I didn't have to audition. <laughs> I was, sorry. sorry, Mark, I'm kidding. I didn't have to. Yeah, but th yeah, there's, there's a lot less shows. Uh, there's, a lot, there's a few less shows being shot in Winnipeg <laughs> than they're in, they're in Hollywood. So do you worry about that? Sean Cullen was just talking about his fears of the next gig he has to get and you know, uh, staying alive and surviving. My fears are more like claustrophobia. I have like claustrophobic fears. Uh, no. So then, this works for you—the expanse of Manitoba. It's like an adventure, like uh, like being away from where the work is. It's uh, it's an <laughs> it's, it's it's an adventure. I'm a hero. <laughs> It's an adventure. I'm trying to, I've got so much I want to ask you and so little time. Uh, with yeah, you. Well, 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 quick. Uh, uh, number six. Well, here's what Good I. Number six. Let me try this one out. Yes. You. Now that you are doing solo stuff, you're, you're at the, the comedy festival here, yes. do you feel like you can do things? I mean, Kids in the Hall was surreal. It's, I mean, it's stretched in so many different ways. And yet, there was a, a type of unique style of Kids in the Hall humor. Do you feel you can stretch out in ways that you couldn't with Kids in the Hall when you do solo gigs now? Oh, I would love to, but I don't have the talent. But yes, I... <laughs> But I go to bed every night feeling that I could stretch out. Uh, I, I like stretching. Uh, stretching is good. I want to stretch. The kids in the hall aren't so stretchy, and I'd like to stretch more than the kids in the hall. And I, I'm going to keep talking about the word stretching because I like the word. So I have nothing uh, of value to say about stretch. But I, if I say stretch three more times, I win $100. <laughs> stretch, stretch, stretch. So, I would like, so to, do, you, I would like you, to play the fool in a Shakespearean play. I would like to... Uh, That's possible. Yeah, yeah, because yes. it's, it's still a fool, so it's the funny part. <laughs> I won't understand what I'm saying, but, it, uh, but, uh, but it'll be fun, I think. It's as ever. It's a pleasure to see you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for... Congratulations on your big move. Uh, when you. do we... Uh, when do we? I mean, I haven't <laughs> met your significant other. Want to come over tonight? Yes. Okay. I'll get to meet her. Okay, it's a, it's a date. <laughs> I look forward to it. Kevin, what a pleasure. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Comedian, actor, Kids in the Hall member, recently minted Winnipegger... Kevin McDonald, he'll be hosting the Kevin Film Fest all week here at the Winnipeg Comedy Festival.